Hello and welcome to episode 22 of Crypto Cartography. Today we're talking decentralized data storage. Today's episode is product demo heavy. We have 10 minutes. Let's get started. So we're talking SIA coin today. Cash tag SC, about a third of a penny, $141 million market cap, a little under $45 billion in total circulating supply. Let's go over to our TLDR investment thesis. Decentralized next-gen cloud storage technology, which is cheaper, more secure, no intermediaries or third parties, more reliable, stronger security, more equitable for everyone in the ecosystem, and of course, no centralized parties. So their long-term goal is to become the backbone storage layer of the internet of Web 3.0. Also, in their words, the Facebook cloud, the Snapchat cloud, the YouTube cloud are all separated, fragmenting a user's experience across many competing walled gardens. Naturally, Sia Coin's going to overcome that. Going to their white paper, and their idea conception was back in 2013 at Hack MIT. Their white paper was November 2014. And then we go to their token issuance. Um, in August 2015. Now, I do want to note that I couldn't find anything around invested capital or ICOs, which makes me think that the organization was bootstrapped. If you do know about invested capital, um, let me know in the comments. If it is bootstrapped, I think that gives even more credibility to the team and to the organization for what they've built so far. Having a look at their token performance really quickly, it's a generation one coin and it's had some good solid performance in terms of exponential growth. And this is a max logarithmic chart. And now whenever we have a generation one coin, I also look, like to look at its performance compared to BTC. So here's CoinGecko in BTC denomination. Now, if we come down, you can also a max logarithmic chart. Values held pretty well, not as not as strong as to USD, but it's held pretty well compared to BTC's value as well. You'll see a lot of shit coins really drop off in value in BTC's denomination, and SIA SC coin hasn't done that, so that is good to see. Here's their website, and let's go, go through their product demos right now. We're looking at a decentralized storage for the post cloud world. I downloaded our first one, the SIA UI, the SIA user interface. Here is their desktop app, and we've got our dashboard. We've also got our wallet here, 0.29 SC is how, how much I have in there. I've actually paid this morning to, to host, um, or excuse me, to rent storage space and put a file on the network, and let me show you that. If we click here, rent, I paid about 64 SC to put some files on the SIA stream app with about nine contracts. And here it is, I've uploaded one of my videos. So I, I've rented space this morning. I'll show you that in another application as well. And now if we wanted to be on the hosting side, I can use this interface to host and use my personal data storage and rent it out to other people and be er, and earn SIA coins um, for that data storage space. So this is the SIA UI. It is live right now, which is good. If we come over to two other product demos, we're going to talk about Skynet which is the decentralized content delivery network and file sharing platform for developers. So Skynet is the storage foundation of a free, net, free internet, and it's a truly universal cloud, which overcomes all of our centralized clouds like Facebook, Google, and Amazon. Let's see this in action. I've got a file right here. Let's go and drop this file in. It's going to load really quickly. And we've also got, I'm going to copy this link right here. Now, if I come all the way down, we've also got third parties already building on top of Skynet. Skynet web portals is what they're called. So let me, let me go to one. I've just copied the link for my file. I can paste this in here, and I can get the code out, and I can open this file, and boom, it's downloaded right away. So I just uploaded a file to Skynet, got a link took it to another third-party application building on Skylink, put in that link, and downloaded a file. Simple as that. I bypassed all centralized parties. No one owns that file but me, and I can give this to anyone I want now through this link and through this skydrain.net. So there are multiple third-party web portals, um, and there's quite a, been quite a lot of developer activity building on the SIA uh, platform, which is great to see. Now, on to SIA Stream, which is cheap storage for media files. This is SIA Stream. It's kind of in beta, in my opinion, because I'm running this on my local host, so I had to access this through my terminal. It wasn't the easiest thing, but it, actually, they made it very easy. Um, they didn't make it hard, excuse me. And as you can see, I've I'm storing one file. It's about 121 megabytes. There's my balance on SIA Stream, which is, lines up with my SIA UI perfectly. So that's good. And as you can see, I'm sitting in the United States, and my file has been spread across the entire world through nine different hosts. So this is the SIA platform in action. Um, and I've, I put a little bullet point here of how this all works. 
It's divided into 30 segments with nine hosts. Each segment is encrypted. The renters buy storage capacity from hosts using SC. So as you can see back on the user interface, it's deducted my SC and I've paid for these contracts. And then at the end, each, each file contract typically lasts around 90 days and then I'll have to renew that contract. But at the end of it, they want to see that storage proof has happened. So they want to see that all of these different nodes still have my file. And if so, those, those um, hosters will earn my SC. And if not, those hosts will be penalized. One other product demo is Sky Gallery. This is a third party application that someone built. Sky Gallery, this is skyportal.xyz. And this, I'm uploading all of my valuation videos here to a library, and I've named it Crypto Valuation Video Library. And they're still uploading at the moment. And once it's uploaded, I can publish my album. I'll have a link, and I'll actually post this link in the YouTube description so that you can actually go and see this in action. Um, but this is really cool. I've kind of bypassed all centralized parties here. I'm using Sky Gallery on the Skynet platform to host all, to, to store all of my videos, and then I could give you the user one link and you could go and have access to all of them. So Sky Gallery is a third party application that I think is really, really cool. And also wanted to note, mining is active as well. So that's another way that we can monetize this platform is be a miner if you have the technical capabilities for that. So we can buy the token, we can host, and we can also mine. Those are three different outlets. If we go to sia.tech slash get started, um, we've just been through kind of most of what's live right now. We've gone through their core software. We've looked at their SIA supported applications of Skynet and SIA Stream. We've looked at the network stats for mining. Now they also have third party cloud storage apps. And I love to see crypto organizations with have, have third parties developers building on the platform. We have all of these different, these five different organizations that are using SIA on the back end, using SIA on the back end, or what Zerobit's doing is storing their files on SIA. So I want to see a lot more cloud storage apps using SIA's tech as their underlying technology. The, let's go to the tokens real quick. SC token is a utility token. Um, it is used, like we were talking about, it's used to pay for storage services on the platform. What I also want to note is SFC funds. Not as much information around these, um, but pretty much these are revenue generating tokens designed to provide a stream of revenue to their holders in the form of SIA coin. So if you're a host, you will earn SF or SIA funds that you can then convert into SC utility tokens and then sell them, um, either hold them or sell them for USD or Bitcoin or in other cryptocurrencies. So I do want to note that these SIA funds is a long-term revenue generating um, aspect of the, t of the network that you and I can take advantage of if, if we're a hoster. It looks like that you get about 3.9% of each of the funding sources reserved for SIA fund holders. We get them as from renter fees, renter bandwidth, and also host collateral. So that's fantastic. Look out, and if you want to host earn SIA funds, and this could be a passive revenue invest, uh, a revenue generator for you. Investment risk. I couldn't come up with too many. I think we've got corporate and business adoption risk. I want to see multinationals using it. We've got Amazon risk because we're talking cloud services, and I think we've got developer adoption risk, but I think the organization's well on its way to over overcoming that developer adoption. Come back up here, and then let's go to our Google Sheet. Um, here's our valuation measurements that I've kind of already talked about. Developer adoption, increased usability in UI. This is probably the biggest one. I, I want to see this become a lot easier for everybody, for the retail people. Corporate business adoption, and increase in data storage. Pause the video and have a look at the comparables, really good comparables list from both data storage and non-DLT storage. And now let's have a look at the token issuance supply. If I come back to our white paper, I can come down to the bottom and see that they've got an annual growth in supply that's deflationary. So just like Bitcoin, this is a price inflationary asset, but a supply deflationary asset because our supply, yearly supply goes down over time. And I've done a bit of I've done the forecasting for us. Here's our estimated token growth over, over each year since 2015. Um, and you can see that we really only get up to around 68 million tokens that will grow slowly into perpetuity. Um, but I think this little table kind of helps us see that we're mitigating fully diluted risk. And even though we don't know the max token supply, we're growing quite slowly, which is nice to see. This is very similar to Bitcoin. Here's our portfolio subsectors, data storage, data storage marketplace, file sharing, and cloud storage. Um, if you need these in your crypto portfolio, SIA coin's pretty much a must own. 
coming down to our investment exercise. If we invest $1,000 in the platform today, let me go back to CoinGecko, we will get about 314,000 tokens. I've estimated some market caps. I've estimated the circulating supply based on my token issuance schedule up at the top. And then based on this, you can see what happens, excuse me, what happens to our token price, our investment value, and our percentage profit. And if we do get into a multi-billion dollar organization, we'll, we will see some nice growth. Um, as always with crypto organizations, I see four potential investment outcomes absolute failure. We could sell in the third or fourth BTC bull run, or we could be a hodler. And there's three different um, revenue generation options here. Hodl, and we have price appreciation. We can mine. I showed you the mining page. And we can also host. I showed you um, that I just paid some hosters today so to store some video files for me. So based on all of this, I'm giving Sia Coin, the SC token, a strong buy. I think it's just a really, really great play for data storage. Distributed ledger technology is such a no-brainer when it comes to solving cloud storage in a decentralized manner and taking power away from multinational corporations, which if you're watching this video, I think we can all agree with. Um, and that is the Sia Coin organization. Like and subscribe. Happy crypto investing.